now. Tessa Bentulin live with a live interview right now. Tessa, talk about, is this the homeowner of the person that you were showing um, a little bit earlier with the tree on the house? Hey, Rachel. Yeah, just a few minutes ago, you were live with me. Uh, you saw that tree in the back of a house here on Summer Street in Gloversville that kind of fell on either side of the house we saw. It was in the back of the roof. Um, and during our live hit, actually, the owners of the home came out. So I'm here with uh, uh, Robert and Barbara Nellis. And so, Barbara, you came out first. And the first thing you said to me was, was what? Oh, my God. I was sitting in the living room and a, and a tree come down and it was like, boom it sounded like a bomb going off and we ran to the back because i figured a tree had fell and i was sure enough it was a tree that fell on the side of the room and it damaged cool. the chimney in damaged uh next door the, well. uh, the tree came down behind her garage and damaged the top of her roof and then it damaged our roof and then yeah. we came down the back there in the backyard there and pushed the tables across the thing oh. And, and this happened, what, just a couple of just, minutes ago? Just a couple minutes ago, yes. When oh, the t tornado winds and rain it just snapped the two trees about, about halfway up the tree. Well, I guess my next question I should ask you is, I just want to make sure you're both okay physically and the yeah. house is okay. Yeah. Um, in the side room, a tree branch did come down through, and there was water coming down through. The firefighters had asked us if it did, but we went in, back in to observe, and it was leaking in the back room, and our branches down through. But I, it's that side room. And the side room where the freezer room is. You know, insulation came down, and I noticed there was sound, and I looked up, and there was all the tree through the... Oh. Have you called? <laughs> right, I'm sure it scared you. Did, Did you call? guys call uh, firefighters or nope. police yet? Nope. They, they were riding they around. around and showed up here, yeah. and they they asked us, you know, if there was any wires down, which there wasn't. And he did ask if there was any branches through the house, but we didn't know it at the time until after they left. Robert went back there to check again, and he saw that the branch was down through and it was leaking. Okay, we saw some firefighters on the street over, yep. so I'll see yeah. if I can let them know to yep. come back to this area. Yeah. Uh, they, what would they do? I mean... Assess the damage. I mean, you know, it's better to have someone take a look at it, right? Right, that's true. Yeah. And so what now? Are you guys going to start getting to work or just stay inside a little we're, longer? We're home. We're our own buddies. We're retired. Retired. So, retired, so we're I not just, going anywhere. Right now I'm going to let it set for now until I can finish, I mean, take pictures and stuff so we can do the insurance company and stuff and everything and go from there. And this is not something you expected, I assume? No. No, it is not no, what I expected. Not. Nope. Has this some, has this ever happened to you before with had, storm damage? We had another one came down. Uh, the last no, uh, winter, yeah, yeah. winter storm. Yeah. The last rainstorm. rainstorm we, had we had a tree come down on the shed. On shed in the back. The trees in the back aren't that great. They're old. Well, thank you both so much. We'll talk a little bit more, but I want to just toss back to you guys at the station, um, and then we'll have more coming up uh, from live here in Gloversville. But for now, Rachel, back to you. All right, Tessa, excellent work out there. I'm glad you're staying safe with all of this. Let's take a really